guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here hi i am Mekha. i make videos on mostly beauty sometimes travel if we are allowed to now but yeah welcome to my channel and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe but today i will show you something productive that i have done and this is actually a suggested video thank you for suggesting it or else i would not have washed my brushes but yeah, I have washed my brushes and I'll show you exactly how I wash it and what are the different methods I use to wash them. Mainly there are two types of brushes. One is that is real hair and that might come from goat hair or horse hair. And let me tell you, even if they're real hair, they're cruelty-free products. Most of them, like 99%, they're cruelty-free. So you need not worry. And the other type is synthetic brushes. That is man-made fiber. So now let me just show you uh, the difference between them. So these are the two types of brushes. So first, uh, let me tell you about a real hair brush. So this is how the real brush looks they are normally white in color if they are not dyed there are uh, some different ones that are dyed or maybe have different spots on them all depending on which animal they are from so real hair are for dry products because they have natural cuticles on them like we have on our hair they tend to grab more product you Better use it with only powders, they will grab a lot more product than a synthetic brush would. And uh, so mainly the eyeshadow brushes, I prefer going for real hair brushes because they will pick more pigment. Now how to detect a real hair brush and a synthetic hair brush? So let me just uh, show you something which can look similar. So you can see this one, which is the real hair, and this one is a synthetic hair. This one looks more perfect, and by perfect I mean every bristle is same, they are all straight, they are shiny. So the thing you need to remember is synthetic hair will always reflect a lot more light than the real hair will. And if you see, the bristles in it are not really so smooth and straight you can see the texture really clearly in this which you can't see in this one so like a real hair there will be texture in a real hair brush too so another thing you might notice is real hair brushes will get stained really quickly and they kind of absorb the color so this is a little bit of uh, information I wanted to give it to you because the washing pattern will depend on if your brush is real or if your brush is synthetic. So real hair brush is supposed to be washed with shampoo like you will wash your hair and sometimes you can also use a mask on them but uh, that will be really subjective like once a month you can use a little bit of a uh, hair mask on them and leave it and wash it for some time because the cuticles will be nicer and the brushes will stay strong. Another point is um, real hair brushes tend to shed more uh, than the synthetic hair brushes but it's not that big of a problem. Another very important point about washing your brushes is you are only supposed to wash your brushes till here. Do not dip your brushes till this point or do not let the water seep into from here because um, in this joint it is pressed with a glue. The All the hair of the brushes are pressed with a glue in this area. You can take any other brushes and you will see the same thing like for this one it is this area. So if the water, so if the water reaches till here over the time it will lose its grip and your brush will break so make sure you do that just you know wiggle wiggle and hang it or just lay it flat on a surface do not keep it like this so yeah that was most of it and let's just jump into me washing the brushes Okay, so this is how I keep my brushes. So one is for face brushes and another is for eye brushes. 
and this just makes it easy to use now I'm taking this shampoo and this uh, dishwasher you can just buy any dishwasher and use that so I took two separate bowls and one silicone brush cleansing pad and now I'm just taking a bit of shampoo and then um, the dishwasher in two separate containers and then I am going to mix water uh, in it you don't need to use the raw state of anything <laughs> so yeah now I'm taking this one and it's a real hairbrush uh, so I'm dipping it in my shampoo and cleaning it very gently don't be harsh with them they will shed really easily if you do so and then I'm taking this towel and I'm placing my brushes on top of it so this is how I'm going to wash all my brushes, every one of them. And yeah, just it's a very simple rule. Just remember shampoo and conditioner. And if you don't have a silicone brush cleansing pad, use your hand. It works well, basically. <laughs> so yeah, and remember to wash your spoolies also. So these are all my brushes that I have washed. It's a pain in the you know where anyway it's very easy if you know how to wash which brush and that's it so that was it i hope it was helpful and if you are washing your brushes do not forget to tag me and you know that will act as a motivation because i will have to wash these really soon because i film so yeah uh, make sure you tag me my instagram handle is right down in the description box below and see you next time bye